hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here then hello welcome to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna do a review slash demo on the new daisy marquez times vh cosmetics palette so this is what it looks like this is the box it comes in so on the top it just says vh cosmetics and then it has her signature and then it has a sneak peek of what the palette looks like from the inside so i'm gonna go ahead and open it so you guys can see what it looks like the packaging is super duper cute so this right here is the palette the palette is absolutely stunning it is the same color as the box except that it has a bow and you get the BH cosmetics and then her signature again so the palette is absolutely stunning but it doesn't stop there the packaging is so freaking bomb so the lid is magnetic and it comes right off and then it has a little thing right here for you to stand the mirror in and it turns into a little vanity like how freaking thoughtful is that i have never seen a palette that does that it is just absolutely stunning daisy really put her whole heart mind and time into this palette i know a lot of people come out with palettes and i feel like they just slap their name on things and they don't really make it like their own to where this palette i can definitely see daisy creating the whole thing not only is the packaging stunning the color is beautiful but the palette itself it's so pretty i'm gonna go ahead and just take this off and show you guys the palette it's really really pretty it comes with 10 matte shades and then 10 shimmers and you get a little bit of everything you get your neutrals you get your pops of color and then you also get like your pastels so you literally get a lot from this palette i really really like the fact that she also put the names right next to the eyeshadow pants i feel like that's really helpful like if i'm doing a tutorial i can just look and see what color i am dipping into so the whole palette vibe is just so gorgeous and if you guys know daisy she can came last year she did a tour she came to houston and i went to go see her whenever she came and then after was her birthday so she went to dallas and her mom threw her like a huge party and everything was tiffany blue so whenever i saw this palette i saw daisy and i saw the time and effort that she put into it it is just absolutely stunning so this is the look right here that i created using the palette so if you guys want to see my thoughts and just if i love the palette if i hate it how the shadows perform and how i created this look then just keep on watching so i'm gonna be placing bittersweet on my crease So I do want to say it has some fallout and of course it also does have some kickback. So as you guys can see with that shade, but to me it doesn't matter because I usually do my eyeshadow and then I go back and I apply my foundation. So fallout to me is not a big deal, but if you don't like fallout, keep that in mind if you want to purchase this palette. It is so convenient that you can literally like detach the mirror from the palette. I am still shook at that because I've never in my life seen a palette like that and I think that's what caught my attention the most. You can literally like be doing your makeup and just have this mirror, you know, without actually having to hold the whole heavy ass palette. So I think the shadow is really pigmented and it's really creamy so I really like it. Well not creamy, it's like buttery to where um, it's blending out pretty nicely without a struggle. I don't know if you guys have ever um, owned an eyeshadow palette to where the freaking eyeshadows are either too powdery or too buttery and it's just kind of difficult to work with. Well, this, I feel like it has the perfect consistency. So I'm using Passion Fruit to blend out Bittersweet. The colors are super similar, um, but Passion Fruit is just a little bit lighter. So that is why I'm using that shade to blend out the other one. And I'm going in super lightly to blend that out. And whenever you're blending out, it's easier to use a fluffy brush. 
because that way you won't have any harsh lines when blending. I'm gonna go back and darken this up a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with that black matte shade and I'm gonna deepen up the crease. This black matte shade is super pigmented. I've had it happen before to where the black matte shades are super powdery and they kind of disappear when you blend. But this one is like super pigmented and I have to go in super light handed so I won't create a whole mess. I'm going to go back with Bittersweet and blend that black in there. Just gonna be blending out the edges with that shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and like I said, I am loving this one right here. So I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Total Coverage Concealer in the shade 106 to cut it. I'm gonna be going back with the shade matter and I'm just gonna be applying that to the outer corner of my eye. That blue shade, I think it's super pigmented. As you guys can see, it looks really light in the palette but it's super nice on the eyelids. It looks really good and it made the whole look pop and just come together. And I had to wear these earrings cause I just felt like it matched perfectly so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some lashes i'm gonna move on to foundation before i finish up my eyes for moisturizer i'm gonna go in with my elf hydrating serum and i'm just gonna apply this on my fingers and then apply it on my face So for primer, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Beauty Shield. And this primer, it's really good. It has SPF 50, so I really like that. And it's a universal tint, so it does have a color to it. But it will kind of just blend into your skin. So I'm just going to apply this all over. And I did one pump, and I don't know if it's the fact that it has sunscreen that it, like... I don't know like whenever you apply sunscreen you know how you barely put like a little bit and then you get like a whole lot this is how it is with this uh, primer so I barely used one pump and it literally goes a long long way so um, I would recommend not to use one pump I totally forgot and I just pumped it out but uh, you can use like half a pump for your whole face but I do like to prime underneath my eyes, on my nose, and it doesn't have that sunscreen feel. It definitely has like a primer feel. So it feels really like smooth and pore filling. So for my foundation, I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Um, I was never really a big fan of the Infallible Foundation, like the tube one. Um, I tried it before and I just didn't like it for my skin. And this one I decided to try because I heard a lot of good things about it and I honestly love it. I feel like this foundation gives you a very natural look, but at the same time it's full coverage. It just makes the skin look really nice, but it actually gives you coverage. It's not like super light coverage, but it makes the skin look super natural. So that is why I love this foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that with my finger before I blend it out with my beauty blender. And I do have the shade 440. So yeah, definitely worth it. If you are looking for a new foundation, you guys know that um, my ride or die foundations from the drugstore have been the Milani 2-in-1 and also which is another one that i really liked um the milani and the maybelline super stay those are like the foundations i would always be repurchasing uh whenever i would run out i'll go back and purchase the same ones and i just decided to try new ones so i did pick up a few new ones i have the nyx can't stop won't stop and i also picked up the la girl pro matte and then that infallible one as well like i said i've been trying to um look for new things and not just stick to the old ones so i'm really excited to try all of those foundations 
foundations. I've only used them about once or twice. I barely got them about last week maybe. I've mixed them up and all of that. So, so far my favorite from all of them has been the infallible one, but they're all pretty bomb I want to say. Summer is coming so I decided to get those which are a little bit more matte. This one is not matte. This one is like a natural finish. But um, the reason why I decided to get the matte ones is because summer is literally here and I don't want to look super oily. My skin is usually dry but I don't know since summer is coming. I don't want to be super dewy and then look oily. You guys can see this foundation has great coverage, but yet it feels so lightweight and natural. I love it so, so much. So for my concealer, I'm going to be going in with this one. I am loving this concealer. As you guys can see, this concealer is super duper full coverage. I do want to say though, it is a little bit more on the heavy side. So if you are a natural type of person that doesn't really like to wear makeup i don't recommend it so i went to tj maxx and i found this elf hydrating coconut mist the hydrating serum and also the primer this primer right here and i think they're typically like six to ten dollars if you purchase them like at target or online and i only got them for 3.99 each they had like the whole collection they had more stuff but um this is the stuff that i picked up but if i go back and they have all the other stuff i'm definitely gonna pick up more because i only paid 12 for everything i'm gonna go ahead and spray some of my hydrating coconut mist Definitely check your TJ Maxx's and your Marshalls. They have super bomb brand makeup for cheaper. So I'm just really trying to bring some moisture back into my face so that I can really blend out the concealer and the foundation. With my beauty blender, I am just going to push that spray into my face. I've seen a lot of people do this after they put the setting powder. I just don't see the point in that because you would wet the setting powder and get like a weird finish. So I like to do it before I set. For my setting powder, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. If you guys saw my last video that I uploaded, it was the full face of Wet n Wild. This is the setting um, powder that I used and I totally fell in love with it. And another thing that I recommend if you have dry skin is for you not to bake, just set. Um, the only thing I usually bake is my contour because if I bake my whole face, then I will get super dry and patchy. But you guys can already tell the difference. It sets really nicely. So um, for now, I just set under my eyes. What I'm about to do is I am about to go in with some cream contour. And I have been using the Photo Focus Concealer by Wet n Wild. And this is in the shade Dark Cocoa, and I just like to use this to bronze, well, to contour, cream contour. I've never really cream contoured before, but I'm really, really liking it. I feel like the powder sits better on your face, like the bronzing powder, whenever you have contoured with cream underneath. I'm going to be going in with this brush. This is the Small Contouring Brush, and it's by Luxie in the number 512. So this is what I'm going to be using to blend that out. And with this concealer, it also dries really quickly, so you have to kind of work fast or it will dry up and not blend. You okay? I just make a line from my lip to my ear whenever I'm baking underneath. So I'm going to be going in with this brush. This is by the brand Moda and I'm just going to be dusting off that baking that I did right there. Any excess powder that I may have on my forehead and underneath my eyes. just gonna let that bake for a little bit longer before I dust that off. So to bronze up, I'm gonna go in with my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I did repurchase it. I finished the last one and it's just so bomb that I needed to have it. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is by Luxie and this is in the in the shade. This is by Luxie and it is the 516. 
So I'm just gonna go in with some of that powder. And I'm going in super lightly. As you guys can tell, the bristles are like really fluffy. So I'm just applying this and this brush won't give me anything precise. Um, which is what I don't want. I don't want it to be too precise because then it'll look really unblended. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush, kind of go over my bronzer. And I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off already. Today I'm gonna go in with the Note blush and this is in the shade this Girl. The, uh, this Desert. <laughs> What the hell? This is in the shade Desert Rose. There you go. That was not even that difficult. And I'm gonna take this brush. This is by BH Cosmetics. I am not completely positive what number it is. I usually get like a whole brush set and this one I've had for a while. So the number is not there anymore. And that blush is super pigmented, so you gotta go in lightly or else you're gonna look like me. And I am looking like a clown girl. So I'm gonna go back with my setting spray. I am loving this setting spray. And I feel like e.l.f. definitely upgraded. I feel like their packaging is super bougie now and it's just so cute. So I love this setting spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my whole face with it. And it smells like coconut, bro. It smells so good. So next, I'm gonna go in with highlighter. I don't know what highlighter I wanna do. Um, I'm gonna go in with... I'm gonna go in with my Pretty Vulgar highlighter. And this is in the shade Shimmering Swan. Super gorgeous highlighter. So while my face is still a little bit moist, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter. And this is my favorite highlighting brush. This came in another BH Cosmetics brush set. And this is in the number 140. This highlighting brush is so freaking bomb. It's easier to blend your highlighters with this type of brushes. So I'm gonna be applying Bittersweet under. So to deepen it up a little bit, I'm going to go in with that black shade matter and I'm just going to be applying that to the outer part. And I'm going to bring that halfway, not all the way in. And I use the same brush because I feel like it's easier to blend it all together whenever you use the same brush. So we are almost done with the eye look. Next, I'm going to go in with a small brush. I'm going to go in with this super tiny brush. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with Icy right here, which is a super nice white shimmery shade. And also, you guys, this makes such a difference whenever you highlight the inner corner. You see? You see? You see? Girl, let me tell you. also like to go in with that same shade and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone. For my liquid lipstick, I'm going to go in with this one. This one is by BH. I picked it up as well. And it's in the shade Alice. It is a long wearing matte lipstick and it's like a really nice pinky nude so since our eyes are super popping i kind of want to give them all the attention so i'm gonna go in with something softer on my lips so this lipstick is super creamy so it's easy to work with and then it dries matte so i'm gonna go in with this one this is the collab that i love that i did with ColourPop, and this is in the shade curvy it is a really pretty lip gloss and i'm just gonna apply that on top Okay guys, so this right here is the finished look. 
So it's time for me to tell y'all my thoughts and just if I like this palette or if I don't like it. I'm not gonna be biased about it. I love Daisy so much, but I'm gonna tell you guys the real tea on this palette right here. The packaging is A1. The packaging is what caught my attention the most, but I just feel like the shades in here are extremely beautiful. This is definitely a different palette. I don't think I've seen something like this in the market it whenever i saw it i was like i need that palette i don't own anything that looks like that so it is a very unique palette as far as how it performed i think for one the eyeshadows are very pigmented i think they are very blendable so i didn't have a hard time trying to blend them they were really pigmented i don't feel like i have to stack anything on for it to actually show they were not dusty you know sometimes you get some eyeshadows that are like dusty and they literally like wipe off each time you try to blend that was not the case the eyeshadows were super bomb they were a1 and if you haven't picked up this palette i definitely recommend that you do so it is only 23 dollars so um my girl daisy definitely did that i love 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 her palette this has to be like my new favorite palette and then i also love the fact that i literally set this down on my vanity and the whole time i was doing my makeup i was just looking into the mirror without actually having to hold the whole thing like this um because i could literally just go like this and put it as close as i need to without it actually like smacking me in the face so everything about this palette is super bomb the price the quality everything so if you haven't picked it up i suggest that you do so that is it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope y'all enjoyed the look i did with the daisy palette and if you have any comments questions or concerns definitely leave them down below if this is your first time watching me then please do not leave without subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you do not miss an upload from me thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see you guys on my next video video.